Thank you so much, Lee. You cannot have a Vermont winter, a Vermont holiday, without maple syrup and Vermont maple products. So we're here with, with Elliot Morris, the Morris Farm uh, Maple Sugar Works. You're going to make sugar on snow, which I'm, is like the classic. I'm going to make sugar on snow the microwave way. <laughs> nice, the easy way. And then we're going to make maple cream with this, uh, with this giant contraption, which I know one of us is probably going to lose a finger or two. Oh, uh, the hole is so small. I don't think you could. Safe for kids. But That's don't we try like. it. Don't right. try it. So, so how, uh, do, how do we start? Well, this is a space age machine here. I made maple cream for years in, they call it a paddle machine, where yeah. a big round vat spins very slowly, and then two stainless steel paddles stir it. Then the problem is, how do you get it out of the <laughs> vat and put it in these little jars? Well. It's a problem. Not, and, uh, but not anymore. Not anymore <laughs> because you open the valve and it fills the jars one at a time. Well, I've never, I've never uh, seen a machine like this, so I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, so I, should, we, should we start by pouring in the maple syrup? Well, uh, let me tell you what I did first. All right. Now, uh, it would take an hour to boil that syrup. Right. And another two hours to cool it until it's cold. And it is, it is like it super, is, super thick. It's a little bit thick. Yeah. Uh, maple syrup is maple syrup at 118, 218 degrees, okay. 218. It becomes cream at 234. Wow. It becomes maple candy at 240. That's what I love about you maple guys. You and, all, it's, yeah. it's, it's always you know yeah. the numbers. And it becomes granulated sugar at 265 degrees. Wow. Well, I'm the candy man. <laughs> and uh, they call it my dungeon. They send me down to the dungeon. <laughs> With and, all your contraptions yes, and machines. And down the when I come back up, I have candy or maple. Cream. So <laughs> uh, this is ready to go. All right. So I'm going to flip the machine on. All right. Now, if you see fingers shoot out of this, oh, just yeah. cut the camera right away. They'll be right there. <laughs> All right. So I, I pour this in. Pour it. Dump it right in. Now you're going to see it come up here, I hope. Hear it? Hear the machine turn? You're going to see it come up. So All you right. come. Do I stop or do I keep uh, going? Put some more in. All right. <laughs> let's, <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Let's make this a, <laughs> a one-shot deal here. Let's see how full it is. It's full enough. All right. Yeah, that's okay. So let's now. There it's we sticky go. stuff. It is seriously sticky. Everything I do seems to be sticky. But you're the candy man. It's the okay. The candy man. Now watch that turn white in there. All right, so it's 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 rotating through this uh, crazy motor paddle yeah. mixer inside, and you can see. see I don't know if you can see it, but it, you're starting to get air bubbles in it. It's coming up. Yeah. And it's beginning to turn white. Wow. Then I will maybe reach in and stir it a little bit. With your spoon or your hand? With no, not my hand. Because then afterwards no, you're like. No, because my finger would go through into the pump. And then. Fingers. And yeah, yeah, fingers. Yeah. Fair so enough. I use the spoon. All right. And this is why it gets so sticky. I take the spoon and I see. Once it's done, you can kind of butter this cream right onto donuts. <laughs> then they turn into maple donuts. <laughs> it makes a good topping on the cakes, cookies, lasagna, oh. bacon. Lasagna? I don't know about that. <laughs> Maple Look at makes that. anything better. <laughs> That's turning creamy. And the more creamy it gets, the whiter it gets. And you know, sugar makers want to make the whitest cream, the whitest uh, sugar in the world. So I'm going to open this up. All right. And we fill it to about a half inch down. Now watch it come out. That is some cream there. That is awesome. And I think I don't have enough jars, but whatever. But that just means we get to scrape it out with that. You get spoon. to lick it right out. I, 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 can, I can deal with that. Now what I didn't bring, I forgot, was the caps for the jars. I think with all the people that are in the studio right now, we're not really going to have a problem with that. 
we're just gonna go totally Mabelholic. I think, yeah, yeah, it's ultra sweet. Look at that, come out of there. This makes nicer cream than anything I've ever made before. <laughs> now I wish I had the rest of those jars, but they're over there. It's all right. I think it'll work out. So. That is awesome. That's all I can jar up. All right. We still have some left, but I will tend to that. Sounds good. So, so now, now we got to make some. Uh, let's turn it off. Wow, it's so quiet. So quiet. We got to make sugar on snow. That is the classic classic. Yeah. Usually it's springtime, but you know, it snowed this morning. So we it, can make sugar on snow. That's right. Now, uh, sometimes there isn't any snow. So uh, yes. you have to be careful in the winter. You go out. I keep a bag in my freezer. You go out doors and you get snow and you want to look at it and yeah. make sure it's good. Yeah. Because it isn't always good. If it's so, yellow. Yeah, if it's yellow. If it's already got maple flavor, alone. not so good. So, uh, so I grind up ice cubes. There you go. And I grind them up and then I add just a little bit of water and I pack them into these and then put in the freezer. That's why I you're the candy man. Sometimes thousands of these. You must have a really big freezer. We do do sugar on snow. <laughs> so here's how we could boil the syrup to 234. Okay. And then it's ready to pour on the snow. All right. So this is what I do. I put one third of a cup in this Pyrex. And by the way, your sugar maker, what do you prefer? You like the fancy, the grade A, the medium amber? What's yours? I prefer fancy. You yeah. that? Yeah. Sugar makers work hard to make it. They ought to have the best. Yes. So, we have the fanciest. So fanciest let's, maple sugar makers. Let's put one third of a cup in this Pyrex here. All right. And then we'll put it in here. Right. Now, I've got to say that if this is set to a different setting than the one I used, yes. it's going to either not be sugar on snow and it's going to fall into the snow, or it's going to be harder than a rock. Yes. So let's give it a try. Let's do it. No. I want on two zero zero. All right. And then we'll just try it on some snow. All right. I like that. So yeah. you, I mean, a lot of maple producers sell products, but now everybody's, you know, with this fancy equipment, website, maple organizations got website. Yeah. What, what's your website? The Moss Farm is mossfarm.com. Or you could go to vtmaple.org. Yeah, which is a great website. Great recipes on it. There's events all over the state. When maple season comes around springtime, there's just a lot going on. That's right. We do have uh, schools on sugaring, too. Yeah, that's true. You guys do a lot of course yeah. building. And I'm always amazed that, you know, when you start kids out at a really young age and maple becomes a part of that culture, they'll stick it out their whole lives. They really come back to it. A lot of the go, go to college, move away, and then come back. And sugaring is just a, a part of their life that they always yeah. have to have. Yeah. Now, maple sugar on snow will give you a wicked sugar high. <laughs> so to get cured of a sugar high, usually you have a sour pickle. <laughs> yeah. And then a donut. <laughs> Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> I didn't bring any sour pickles. Can you pick that off? I can, I, I think it's I can not pick as that good up. as it should be. My recipe says, and mm. you aren't supposed to eat the snow. My recipe says. I hope um, this is the good snow. <laughs> uh, one no. third of a Man. cup of syrup for three minutes. Yesterday, that was too much. You see, the atmosphere Man. can change everything you're doing. Yeah. If I want to cook two and a half gallons of syrup, yeah. of course, I put a certified defoamer in it. But if the atmospheric pressure is too low, yeah. it will, when I turn my back, it'll go shh, right up and over the top. <laughs> And about that time, somebody walks in that doesn't like the smell. Well, I think it's, yeah. I think it's great. So, and, and, and folks, if you haven't been out to Morris Farm, check out their website. Get out there. You might have to bring the sour pickles, but he's going to have the maple syrup and the maple cream. Oh, Ellie, we have the sour pickles. They've got the sour yes. pickles, too. It's all. So, so come so. see the candy man. 
Go, you know, go to the go to the Maple websites in the state. They're just a great resource, especially this holiday mm -hmm. season. And folks, if you haven't called in, there's a great gift bag out there. Just dial one eight hundred six three nine eight three zero three number right there. We're gonna throw. Up